Welcome. This is chapter 36 of The Spiritual Combat in a Treatise on Peace of Soul by Dom Lorenzo Scupoli. The title of this chapter is The Practice of Virtue Requires Constant Application. Of all the things conducive to the attainment of our present goal, that is, the acquisition of Christian virtues, the earnest desire of continual advancement is of the utmost importance, as the least pause delays us. The moment we ease forming acts of virtue, our inclinations, which are naturally prone to ease and to pleasures of the senses, raise in us disordered appetites which overthrow or at least weaken our virtuous habits. This is to say nothing of the loss, through such neglect of countless graces which we might have merited by a constant application of our spiritual advancement. This is the difference between a journey on earth and that which leads to heaven. For in the former, not only may we stop without fear of going backward, but rest is necessary that we may sustain our strength to the journey's end. However, in the latter journey, that which leads to perfection, our growth is strength in proportionate to our advancement, inasmuch as the inferior appetites which throw all possible obstacles in our path to heaven grow gradually weaker while our good inclinations acquire new strength. Thus, as we advance in piety, our early difficulties fade into the background, and a certain delight with which God sweetens the bitterness of this life increases in our souls. Going cheerfully on from virtue to virtue, we finally reach the summit of the mountain, the summit of perfection, that happy state wherein the soul practices virtue, not only without revulsion, but with an effortless ease and an and ineffable pleasure. For triumphant over her passions, the world and herself, she lives in God, and through Him enjoys a peaceful serenity amid her continual labors. And so concludes chapter 36 of The Spiritual Combat and a Treatise on Peace of Soul by Dom Lorenzo Scupoli.